property A. Then we calculate value of property B, denoted as V A. V A. Now using the net income approach, value of property A will be equal to um, earnings before interest and tax we divide by cost of equity. Cost of equity is that simple. The um, earnings before interest and tax is provided 41 million, 41 million from the question, 245,000, 245,900 shillings. Cost of equity, the cost of equity is 12%. Uh, converted into decimal, that will be 0 0.12. So the machine will give us the answer. 41, 245, 900, divide by 0.12. This is equal to shillings, 34 million, it's 243 million 715,833. That's the value of uh, property A. Then the value of property B, we have value of property B using the net income approach will be equal to the value of, remember property B is partly financed by equity and partly financed by debt of 10%. So the value of property B will be equal to value of equity plus the value, value of debt plus the value of debt. This will be equal to um, value of equity plus value of debt. We know that the value of uh, equity will be uh, the EBIT, which is uh, EBIT, which is forty one two hundred and forty five nine hundred minus the interest minus the interest or so let me do let me give the formula first it will be equal to a bit a bit minus interest a bit minus interest divide by cost of equity plus because this is the value of is a value of equity plus value of debt value of debt and the value of debt is provided in the question we don't need to compute this one is given in the question so the a bit we have it a bit is 41 41 245 900 interest the interest is um, 10 percent interest is 10 percent Interest is it 10 percent? Let me check from the question. Uh, from the question, yes. Uh, the second last question, third last question says, a wholly owned, uh, a wholly equity finance property B is financed partly by equity and partly by 10 percent debt. 10 percent debt. So 10 percent is the interest rate, and the value of the debt is 215 million. 215. This is 215 million. So that will be the, um, then we divide by the cost of equity of 12%. Then we add the value of debt, which is provided at 215 million. 215 million. So this will be equal to, this will be equal to, um, this will be equal to 41, 2, 4, 5, 
minus 10% times 215 million divide 12% plus 215 million. So this is equal to 379 million five hundred and forty nine thousand one hundred and sixty seven that's the value of property B the value of property B and here we had the property of the value of property A okay how many marks this will be four marks okay four marks mark there mark